I was born in Tequila, Mexico. My family migrated here when I was just a little bit over a year, and I was raised in Five Points, California. My parents were happy to be here, to have an opportunity to put food on the table and to have their children educated and find a pathway out of the difficult work that they did as farm workers. I initially wanted to go to Boulder, Colorado or UC San Diego. At the same time, I had the responsibility of translating for my father, who was very ill at the time. He was going through kidney dialysis. And so his doctor told me that my father would not see me graduate from college. And so that day I knew that I was going to stay close because I wanted to be by my dad and that I would be going to Fresno State. As I was immersing myself in the first year at Fresno State, I realized that you could go to college 50 miles away, 500 miles away, or 5,000 miles away. If you immerse yourself in that community, you really can get a unique college experience. And so I feel fortunate in the sense that I decided to rush a sorority, find you, and it really showed me a lot of things in a different way. Having been a young daughter of farm workers, being exposed to a traditional sorority was quite the experience not only mixing in a different social class of students, but also teaching them a little bit about my culture. Coming to Fresno State, staying local kept me local for a long time, long enough to value where I come from, to love my community, and to want to improve it. I'm a chief of staff at the state capitol. I've been there for 14 years. 14 years ago, I also started my own political consulting business with a business partner. I've had a passion for being able to lift and participate in part of the Latina community in the state of California for a long time now. My path was very difficult um, to Sacramento, uh, both as a woman, as a person of color, and it continues to be. You'd be amazed how many times I've been in a meeting with a lot of powerful men, and I'm the only woman and I'm the only person of color. I'm one of few Latina political consultants in the state of California, and that's not a good thing, right? While I was growing up professionally, a lot of times people wanted to put me in a box and say, oh, you're the Central Valley girl, or you're a moderate. And a lot of times I was dissuaded from going a certain route, or uh, I was told, you're too young to be a chief of staff, or you don't have enough experience. And so a lot of times when people told me no, it empowered me more. And I thought, well, I came to Sacramento to be the girl on everything, you know, not put myself in a box. And so leadership is not being the first. Leadership is cracking that glass ceiling and then looking behind you and seeing who you're going to lift with you. And because that has been important to me for two decades, I volunteered with numerous organizations organizations, sitting on panels or mentoring young people to try and inspire them. Uh, because I always say, if I made it this far, you can make it leaps and bounds beyond. Where I grew up helped me become who I was and have a better understanding of my community. And staying local and going to Fresno State is by far the best decision I ever made.